This is an escape as audacious as it is embarrassing for the prison services. Daniel Khalifa, it's believed, escaped by strapping himself to the bottom of a food delivery truck, being driven off the prison, off the prison and now a nationwide manhunt is underway. Since January, since the beginning of the year, Mr Khalifa has been at HMP Wandsworth in southwest London, awaiting trial and charged with terror offences, accused of leaving fake bombs at a military base. And it's believed that he's been working in the prison kitchen. When he was last seen at 10 to 8 this morning, he was wearing a prison-issue white T-shirt, red and white check trousers and brown steel toe-capped boots. Now, when I was talking to the police, the police commander in charge of this uh, manhunt earlier on, he said that despite this man being a former soldier, despite the fact that he's uh, a, a terror suspect, they, be, they actually think that he's a, quote, low-risk threat to the public and they're appealing for the public's help in finding him. Uh, as a matter of normal course, we would say don't approach him if you do see him and call 999. Uh, but the public are the key to finding Daniel Cleef, wherever he is in the UK at the moment. You say they're the key, but he escaped at 7.50. You didn't... There was no announcement put out until half past three. There's seven and a half hours there where you weren't asking the public anything. That's an awful lot of time for him to get an awful lot of way, long way from the prison. Yes, you're quite right. But, it, but look, it, ultimately, we were still conducting investigations and fact-finding for quite a while this morning. And that's a really important part. We need to make sure that we're really accurate with what we're doing here. Um, and clearly, there are lots of things that we need to do in the early stages of this investigation um, to, in, to ensure we can try and find him early. So it's the Met's counter-terrorism unit that's handling this investigation. They're focusing on London, where Mr Khalifa has links to, but it is nationwide. They've extended it to ports as well. Airports have been including this. There is a, I think it's a flight risk uh, of Mr Khalifa. Now, there have been some questions tonight as to whether or not he should have even been in Wandsworth, a Category B prison and not Belmarsh, a high security prison, especially because he was at Belmarsh before, uh, just after his first hearing, before being transferred to Wandsworth. Talking to police there and they say, look, that is all of these uh, questions. The biggest question, of course, how on earth this could happen in the first place, regardless of where it is. The police say, look, that is for prison services to investigate right now. Their concern, their focus is finding this man. Paul, thanks very much.